Yeah, we just wanted to ask, uh, you mentioned a point regarding that CDM is not eligible uh, for non-Kyoto countries. So, you know, why did Switzerland uh, express that concern specifically, whereas no other country actually raised that issue? Well, what we have raised as an issue is that Kyoto parties will be excluded from UTA CDM. Japan and New Zealand will remain members of the parties of the Kyoto Protocol. They will continue to use accounting rules and the reporting obligations of the Kyoto Protocol. And as Kyoto party, they will not be allowed to continue to use the CDM. And one of the objectives of the CDM is to promote sustained development in developing countries. And this is clearly against that uh, objective. Moreover, we think it is important that the CDM is uh, prospering. We want to have uh, to maintain a big demand on CDMs because it is also a way how to mobilize private financing. And finally, what we also think is quite contradictory. On the one side, we reduce the possibility of using CDM, and through that, we are using also the shares of proceeds that are fly flowing into the adaptation fund. And on the other hand, then we expand the shares of proceeds towards emission trading and joint implementation. This is contradictory. And uh, you also mentioned uh, that you know uh, Switzerland may not uh, revise its targets in the short term because the ambition from other parties isn't there. Uh, would you like to say something about that? Switzerland, like other countries, have clearly indicated what the condition is for to, to increase its ambition on the Kyoto Protocol, and this condition is that we would have comparable measures undertaken by other developed countries and adequate mitigation measures by developing countries. Looking only at the mitigation objective of Switzerland will not help us to overcome this condition. Therefore, the process as it is set up will not help Switzerland to increase our ambitions. However, we had hoped that the works in two under the, um, under the ADP, which is looking at all the ambitions in a comprehensive manner, would have helped Switzerland to increase our ambitions. And this works in two was not uh, developed in an effective manner here in Doha as we have hoped. And finally, regarding finance, uh, how do you see the climate finance flowing in the next two years up to 2015? Uh, how will Switzerland government be spending its climate finance uh, commitments? Well, it's difficult to say how climate financing will flow over the next two years, but that's also an area where we are disappointed by the uh, outcome of this conference. We would have liked to have an honest assessment of the fast start period and the development of lessons learned so that based on that we can develop together a vision how we will achieve the 2020 objective. And this uh, we were not able to agree upon and that will not make it easy for us also to continue to, to increase our contribution to, to climate financing. However, Switzerland will, and we have announced that, maintain the current level of climate financing. We have also announced that our ODA will increase by 12%, by more than 10%, and a large part of that will also be for climate financing. Thank you, thank you, thanks a lot.